Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janice if you're new. Today I put together some spring and Easter DIYs. I'm also participating in a open challenge. I'll tell you a little bit about that a little bit later. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. These are the supplies you're gonna need for this DIY. Some carrots from Dollar Tree, a canvas. It's an eight by 10 and I use my Cricut. So I wanna remove the canvas from the frame. So I'm gonna remove it by using my X-Acto knife. Just cut along the edges. You can use a staple remover and remove the staples if you want, but this is easier for me just to cut it. I want the frame to look like it has a stain. I'm going to use some of the nutmeg brown paint, and then I'm just going to take a baby wipe and wipe off some of the brown. So now I need to cut the canvas because I don't need the outside edges that are you know the part that I ripped so I'm just going to go around where the creases are and just cut that so I used my Cricut and created some decals that say carrot patch just going to apply that right on top of the canvas so I want to make sure that it's straight so I'm just placing down the decal not actually rubbing on the, the canvas just yet just making sure it's in the middle and everything is nice and straight. So I'm going to place the frame right back on top of the canvas and to apply them together I'm just going to use my hot glue. Now you can use E6000 or super glue for a better hold but I think the hot glue works just as well. Now I'm going to flip it over just to make sure that it is on the frame and then add a little more hot glue and then anything that's hanging over the edges I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. Now it's time to add the carrots. Now I have some large carrots and some medium sized carrots. I'm going to go ahead and place down a few of the large and a few of the, the medium size. Um, but because large ones are a little too tall, I do have to cut them. Now the medium sized ones come in a bundle. I think there's like, I want to say 10. So I just removed them from the jute twine because I'm going to use the medium size as well. I'm also trimming the top of the carrots. So now I'm going to cut the carrot. And you can see the white part is showing. That's okay, it's an easy fix. The part that I actually cut off, I'm just gonna take that orange, it's just orange jute twine. Just gonna rewrap it to the bottom so you can't see the white. So the ones that I cut, I'm just, like I said, going to grab that orange jute twine, hot glue it to the bottom so you can't see the white. So now that I have them all cut, ready to go, I'm just going to hot glue them to the bottom of the canvas. So I left some space between the carrots because I'm going to add some moss. So now I'm going to grab some moss. I got this from Dollar Tree and just going to place some in between, like I said, between the carrots. I love the way this came out. I think it came out really cute for Easter. And if you don't have a Cricut, no worries. You can always either hand write, you know, carrot patch in there or use Dollar Tree. Always has letters and things you can always find at Dollar Tree. So 
So what do you guys think? You like this one? I thought it was really easy, simple, but really cute for Easter. Today's open challenge is hopping into Easter and the host today is Brenda from Rustic and Lace and Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun. I will have both their channels linked in my description box below along with the playlist. So make sure you take a look at the playlist. It's going to be a lot of fun. This one you're going to need a Dollar Tree little frame and some craft paper. I got this from Hobby Lobby and this Happy Easter. I got a bunch of them from Hobby Lobby as well and the little rabbit butt <laughs> from Dollar Tree and I'm going to start off by painting the Happy Easter with some white acrylic paint. So for the carrots it's not going to be a traditional orange I'm going to go ahead and paint it with a light pink and the top is going to be a light green. This is super easy and only takes a couple minutes to make and it's really cute for Easter. Now I'm going to take the backing of the frame apart because I need to place the craft paper inside. I only had a little piece left of this craft paper. It's so pretty. I got this from Hobby Lobby last year. So I'm just going to place it on the back of the frame and then use my glue stick to place it down. Now I'm going to cut off the remaining part of the craft paper and then place it right back into the frame. So I'm going to place down the Happy Easter and the carrots with some glue. Now for the bunny butt, just going to glue it down on the corner of the side of the frame and look how cute this came out. Super cute, super easy. For this one, you're going to need a Dollar Tree frame. This is one of the long ones Dollar Tree carries all the time. And I use some white cardstock and I use my Cricut as well. And this really adorable frog, it says welcome. It's a spring. It's in the spring section in Dollar Tree. I thought it was adorable and I wanted to make something with it. So I went ahead and cut out the poster board to size just to save some time. So I'm going to open up the frame and back. I'm going to place it inside. I'm not going to remove the tags from the frog and remove it from the welcome sign as well. So I can't find my needle nose pliers, so I'm trying to do it with a scissors. Just open up. It has like a little uh, area where you can actually place something in there and make it wider to remove it, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, remove it. So my intentions was to place the frog in front of the glass and keep the chain and kind of like glue it to the top, but it wasn't working. So I eventually remove the chain from the frog. Now I'm going to go ahead and place down my Cricut vinyl. I made a decal that says, hello spring. Dollar Tree carries a lot of these cute little things for like spring and all the seasons. I only do this with anything that Dollar Tree sells. I mean, it's a really cute idea. I think it really comes out adorable. So I went ahead and removed the chain from the frog. So now I'm going to place it on the glass. I'm going to use some hot glue. However, if you want a better hold, 
Um, I've definitely used something else like E6000 or super glue or something like that because the hot glue does not hold very well on glass, but I did it for video purposes. And look how adorable this came out. Okay, for this one, I printed this out. I found this online, this really cute rabbit, and what a Dollar Tree sign. This was back in fall. I'm gonna use this and some craft paper from Hobby Lobby. So now I'm gonna use the craft paper and place it on that sign because the image, the rabbit image, is not big enough for this particular sign. So I figured I'd place something behind it Although I didn't have enough of this craft paper itself, but I managed to make it work. So I'm just going to place it down with some Mod Podge after I cut it. Now I'm placing down some Mod Podge, then I'm going to place over that craft paper. I'm not sure why my video is very fuzzy. I'm not sure if it was my camera or if it was the lighting, but I don't like it. <laughs> it's making me mad. <laughs> But anyways, okay, so I'm just finishing the Mod Podge. I'm going to place the craft paper over the top. Now, like I said, the craft paper is not long enough, so I'm just going to take the other piece of the craft paper and just cut a little piece and Mod Podge it to the sides. Now I'm going to take that image and I'm going to place that right over the top of the craft paper and apply it down with some Mod Podge. So I wanted to add some paint, so I'm grabbing some white chalk paint and using my chippy brush, just going around, just adding some white around it to make it so it blends kind of with the image. So off camera, I just added um, a little bow and a little button, a pink button to the top. That's pretty much it. And this is how it turned out. All right, for this one, we're going to take two tiles. I got these from Dollar Tree. I printed out an image I found on the internet of a vintage rabbit and this egg sign from Dollar Tree as well. So I'm going to remove the rabbit from the egg sign, put it aside, save it for another DIY. And what I'm going to do is start applying the tile to the front of the egg. I'm going to use two because the egg is kind of large and one tile is not going to cover it all. So I want the middle part that I'm going to cut out to be a little bit higher than the middle part. So you can see I have two combined together. I'm just going to cut right in the middle where I'm pointing. That's the part I'm going to cut out.
be using the image underneath the tile. I'm cutting the image and then I'm gonna place it right underneath the tile, right on top of the egg. Um, it was kind of narrow width wise and I did have to cut a little piece out of the other image to match when I placed the tile over the top. So you can see it wasn't going to fit, so I'm just going to grab a little piece off the other image and just kind of like Mod Podge it down so this way you can't see it. So now I'm going to Mod Podge the picture down and just apply some Mod Podge underneath and some on top as well. Now I'm going to place the tile right over the image and just apply it down with some hot glue. I like using these tiles. Um, Dollar Tree always carries them. They have the natural gray ones and they have this type and then they also have one that has blue in it. And they're really great to use for accent on specific DIYs. I think it really nice. It looks really nice. So now I'm just going to match it and then I'm going to flip it over and then cut the remaining part of the tile off the egg. So now I wanted to paint the egg. I'm going to use this antique parchment color. It's almost like an ivory, but it's just a little deeper than an ivory color. I think it's really nice for like a vintage tone. So I'm just going to give it one coat. So now I wanted to add some truffle chalk paint. So I'm going to use my chippy brush, just go around where all the raised areas are and just apply some of that truffle paint. And look how pretty it looks that way. So now I wanted to make a messy bow. That's the reason why I made the rabbit a little bit higher to the top, because I wanted room for the bow. So I grabbed a bunch of material fabric, actually. I, I shredded some fabric, I ripped some fabric, um, and then Dollar Tree, that's a Dollar Tree ribbon that's gonna be the bottom base for the ribbon, or for the messy bow. <laughs> so I already cut them, just gonna make an X, and then I'm gonna place another piece of fabric to tie it off. So now I'm just going to fix it, cut the ends a little bit, and then I'm going to place it right in the middle with some hot glue, pop it off with a Dollar Tree button. I grabbed a brown one and place it right in the middle, and this came out so cute. I love this one. Okay, this is going to be the last DIY. I grabbed this rabbit frame from Dollar Tree 
and some yarn from Joanne's fabric. We're going to make a cute little rabbit wreath. So I'm going to work from the back of the wreath. I'm going to turn it around. It's the flatter side and I'm going to start on the outer edge, the wider part. So I'm just going to fold it, tuck it behind and place it through the loop. Now it depends on how large you want it. I measured about four inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do this because it did take me over an hour and a half to do it. And I don't think you want to sit here and watch me do that. So I have two rows completed. And as I went towards the middle, I went a little shorter because you don't want it too long because you want the outer edge of the wreath to be longer than, obviously, the, the middle part. <laughs> so now I'm going to do the ears the same way. And I think it was about three and a half inches I used on the ears. But you can certainly, at the end, when you look at it, you can cut it because obviously some are going to be longer and shorter. So, you know, you could trim it once you're finished. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the ears and then the rest in the middle. Now if you don't want to spend an hour and a half doing this, you can use a larger, thicker yarn um, or, you know, just wrap it with some ribbon. So many things you can do with these cute little rabbit wreaths. But it was worth the time that I put into it because in the end results it was really pretty. So this is what it looks like once it's finished and then I'm going to grab some floral and I'm going to grab a pink rose from Dollar Tree and some, what is it called, elephant something or another, elephant, I don't know, <laughs> I'm so tired guys, I don't even know the name, I know the name but I can't think of it. Alright, so I want to make the ears pink, so I'm grabbing some fabric, it's, uh, Wow, I'm going blank today. Felt, pink felt that I got from Dollar Tree. Just gonna place a piece in the back and then I'm gonna hot glue it for his ears. So to hold the felt down in place, I'm just gonna place it down with some glue. It'll attach to the, the yarn itself so this way it won't move and that's going to be the back of the wreath so and then I'm going to trim it so this way you can't see it in front Now I'm going to place down the greenery, place down the rose in the corner, and I'm going to place down the rose and the elephant ears with the hot glue. I do use a zip tie afterwards because it was just too loose. It was like falling all over. So, but that's pretty much it. And like I said, it took a while to make this, but I really love the way it came out.
And this is how it turned out. Well, that's it for this video guys thank you so much for joining me today and i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe don't forget to take a look at the playlist see you next time guys take care bye bye